Hello, and welcome to Streets of Gotham. Uh, this is our ongoing Blades in the Dark game following a crew of Gotham City rogues. We are playing a simplified version of Blades in the Dark with a special Gotham City playset. I'm your game master and producer, David. He, him. I'm a graphic designer, an illustrator, and a game designer. You can check out my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at dbrunelbrutman. And joining me tonight uh, are these uh, this collection of miscreants. Let's have them introduce themselves, uh, starting with Hopper. Hi, I'm Hopper. I literally just started drinking, so this is just <laughs> this is just me. Um, what's up? I'm I am the resident dumpster fire. I'm a professional arborist and GM based out of Brooklyn, New York. Um, you can find me online under Fail Deadly. That's with a three instead of an E because I'm a bad person. Um, so it kind of looks like Fail Badly, or under the Legend Tree, where I actually put stuff that I I make stuff and then I show it to the world and be like, "Look at this! I made it. It's beautiful." Um, but uh, my pronouns are they them, as are my characters' uh, pronouns. Uh, and tonight I am returning as Ollie, the ace getaway driver, who's totally fine and not about to carve a path through Arkham. I can't imagine why. Can't imagine why they would want to do that. Totally uh, Pooja. Fine. Everybody, I am Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at Pooja, Pooja Baraki everywhere else. And I'm back today playing Manny Quinn, who recently reunited with her wonderful wife, Harley Quinn, and is uh, having a good time for the most part. Yeah, things are cool. They're chill. Very chill. I don't know what everyone else is stressing about, but what can you do? <laughs> All right. Uh, no opposite kidding, opposite vibes. Opposite vibes. Uh, and finally, uh, Marcy. Hey guys, uh, I'm Marcy, aka okay, Experimental Madness, which is the username you can find me in most places around the internet, except for Twitter, where I remain the resident cryptid. Uh, I'm a writer and editor by day, and by night I play amazing characters with amazing people. And I am back playing Jackie Ripley, uh, your friendly neighborhood hit woman who's having a normal one. <laughs> and, uh, lots lots of know, people having a normal yeah, one this yeah, time right. around. Also, um, I'm going to start including this, I guess, uh, Harvey Dent's girlfriend. That's official now, right? Finally, we admit it. <laughs> a confession. Is that? that that's We're gonna right. have, yeah, that's correct. An admission. Of we're going to have a champagne toast once we're out of here. Wow. Don't start celebrating yet. <laughs> yeah, listen, anybody could die at any moment. Stop. So, no, no. <laughs> uh, David, yeah. David, I just want to remind you that it could be you. <laughs> yeah, I said anyone. <laughs> listen, we're not we're not fucking around here. This is serious shit. Mm. No, we're finding out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so let's get back into it. We are going to start up on the roof of the high security facility at the asylum. Um, night uh, is is definitely coming on at this point. The storm clouds have darkened as the sun has set uh, to the the west behind the skyscrapers of Gotham City, and the light patter of rain continues, uh, I, I think has maybe picked up a little bit, uh, and it is punctuated uh, by distant rolls of thunder. We see standing on the roof of this large concrete bunker-like structure, a figure in a cape and a pointy-eared cowl, the Batman. Uh, you have uh, just had uh, a rather interesting conversation with the Bat, but the 
three of you and your associates are down below uh, in the depths of the high security building. Uh, right now, we are joining the bat uh, on the edge uh, of the rooftop here, surveying the asylum grounds, and he puts uh, his finger to his ear. Oracle, come in. It's me. Batman, coming through clear. Good. I have some complicated news. Mm. Are you underselling it like you always do? Yes. Poison Ivy... Poison Ivy isn't in high security. She's been transferred to the medical wing. Shit. Were you able to get into the, the system? I can no look for internal yet. transfer records. Okay. Um, if you can get me there, I can take a look to see where she is. Give you something more precise. All right. I'll see what I can do. But right now I have to get over to the main HVAC center. I think the most critical item on the list right now is shutting down the flow of gas to the rest of the asylum. As for poison ivy and the antidote, I have some people on it. People? Oracle, I think I made a bad decision. Well, you would have had to. Dick and Jason are still out on the other side of town. Right. This was a little more local. Turns out there have been some rather high profile breakouts in the asylum tonight. Harley Quinn, Harvey Dent, and the people responsible. You recall... Manny Quinn, Jackie Ripley, Ollie Oleander. How could I forget? They've got the best names. Right. They're responsible, and I made a deal with them. Oh. Tell me more. <sighs> They're also after Ivy. Uh... Ollie's a known associate of hers. And I was going to say, she's his boss, right? Their boss, right? Yes. And I imagine they want to get her out. It's kind of cute. All of them getting their bosses out. Well, or, or wife in one case. Cute is one word for it. It's what we would do for each other. It is. The only difference being we're not criminals. Um, we skirt the law. Fair but enough. But the law is corrupt. And that's the calculation I've made. Quinn, Dent, Isley, they belong in Arkham. And they'll be back here soon enough. The other three. You've looked at their records. We've pulled the psych profiles from the asylum. They don't belong here. They don't. So, what is the deal you made? <sighs> if they're going to get off the island, they're going to need to break Scarecrow's hold over the island's main systems. That's our goal as well. Mm hmm So. I'm going to look the other way for tonight. Let them do what it is that they do. They'll leave. Scarecrow's hold over Arkham will be broken, and we can come in and clean up the mess afterwards. Hmm. That works. And if they keep a low profile once they're out. 
I don't have high hopes of that, but we'll see. I just fair enough. There's something about those three, Oracle. But four, really. There's oh, also yes. their associate. Where's the other one? Ed, the fourth associate, already made it off the island. Oh, and they didn't go with him. Interesting. It is. They clearly had unfinished business here. But the four of them, there's something about them. I might, I might be out of my mind, Oracle, but I have hope for them. Every time Mm -hmm. we've encountered them, what they've done has ultimately been good for Gotham City. They go up against criminals more often than they take on innocent people. I don't know if they're aware of that yet, but sooner or later they're going to have to come to terms with the fact that they're not strictly doing harm in Gotham City. Maybe that's a lapse in judgment on my part, but I can't shake the feeling. I think you're growing soft in your old age, but I think that's a good thing. (sighs) Maybe I am. I'm going to send to you, I'm going to send the details of the current HVAC system over to you so you know what to do once you're in there. Good. Hopefully, if the friends I've hired are able to get Ivy out, we can link up there and she can help synthesize an organic antidote. We can pump that back into the system, help everybody else in the facility before taking on Scarecrow. That's a good idea. Let me know if there's anything you need from me. Will do. Batman out. And we see him drop his finger from his ear, uh, spread his cape, and leap from the top of this seven-story building. Cape spread out like the wings of a bat gliding down towards the south side of the island where we see a uh, hulk of a facility with uh, tall chimneys poking up into the stormy night sky. But let's go down back into high security and rejoin our team here. So, the three of you, uh, in addition to Harvey Dent and Harley Quinn are down uh, on the first story of the high security facility. Um, You have, uh, let's say, uh, you have just crossed the bridge out of the Panopticon back to the, uh, the corridors that wind their way towards the main entrance to the high security facility here. Uh, And you are moving back towards uh, some of you in better shape than others, uh, that first aid station. Uh, So, um, uh, we have run a little, uh, we have run a little downtime off screen uh, so let's let's get a quick scene of that from everybody. Um, where where do y'all end up to take a quick breather before heading to the medical facility? And I want to know what each of you does uh, just to you know take a take a fifteen minute breather before you uh, attempt this next this next uh, task. Um, yeah, so where where do you go? Do you go back to that uh, the vestibule with the first aid kit or are you headed somewhere else? I think we have to stop there 
at the very least, if only to grab some of the first aid kits that are there. Yeah. Even if we don't choose to stay there. Okay. Cool. So you definitely you backtrack there. Um, are you are you going to hunker down there for your your breather or head elsewhere? What do you guys think? I think I think it makes the most sense to stay there personally. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't see any reason to. We know it. We know what's there. We know yeah. the area. At this point, we're old hands. It's, yeah. Yes. All right. So you wind your way. You. You do wind your way back uh, through the concrete corridors, past security gates, through the the guard station, uh, and back to the main entrance of high security, where there is still busted open, uh, with I think some supplies still strewn on the ground, one of those wall first aid kits that you used before. Um, there's still some stuff left in there. You you can uh, you can lick your wounds here. Uh, I want to get a quick shot of what each of you are up to uh, as you as you take this breather. Let's start with uh, we'll go in reverse order of the intro. Let's start with Marcy, uh, Jackie. Uh, yeah, I think uh, you know the adrenaline wearing off. She's now sort of hob- hobbling her way. Uh, she's getting uh, slower and slower by the time we get to the first aid kit. Um, I'm pretty sure she has not. I th- I don't think Harvey and Jackie have let go of each other's hands the entire walk back to the vestibule. Um, yeah, and, and I think uh, he's like, I, I he wants you to. He doesn't want you to realize this, but I don't know that there's any way to hide it. He's trying to support you a little bit. He's trying to make it seem that, uh, like, like I don't know that that's what's happening. Yes, and yeah. it's definitely oh, not that's a sign working. That we've definitely been together too long. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, she'll she'll hunker down. And she's gonna fumble for for some of the first first aid bandages or antiseptic that's still in there. I mean, we chucked a whole bottle of hydrogen peroxide at her last time. Yeah, uh, hey, Jackie, and just, just, just like, don't don't hand me the stuff, okay? Just sit down. Take it's, a load off for a second, okay? It's it's nothing. It I I maybe possibly but absolutely got shot. Oh yeah, no kidding. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I it's No, it's, still it, in it's there, not a big yeah. deal at all. No, yeah, no, don't, no big don't, deal. Just yeah. don't freak out about it, please. No, getting um, shot, as, that's like nothing, right? It's it's nothing. It's not I've been shot all the time. I've been shot at a lot. Right. Um, and she's like lifting up uh, the sh- the like to to lifting up her shirt to remove the slapdash bandage job we did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just hold still. OK. And uh, Harvey is going to uh, I-, I think he's like ha- he's like rolled up the sleeves of the straight jacket. Yeah. Uh, at, at this point, so they're they're all kind of you know he's he's got like a lot of they're like bunched up, right? Um, and he he sort of re re kind of bunches them so that you know he has he has his hands free, um, and it is gonna go through the remains of the first aid kit, uh, and you know dabs uh, no. dabs a little antiseptic on there. It stings like but- hell, um, and try to you know. Uh, like re, like, cle- like take off the dressing, put on a, a clean one uh, around your around your ribs. <sighs> you got shot coming after me, huh? Well, I, I don't know if this is more in my defense or not, but I didn't realize that I would be coming after you tonight. And personally, right now, I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm half expecting that I'm still kind of hallucinating. Finding I'm having a hard time believing half the things that I say tonight and seeing you was not helping with that. That came out wrong. Yeah, but uh, you're in a lot of pain, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to ignore it. Most of all, I think, uh, you know, <laughs> trying to get out of here is a great distraction. 
Are you okay? He, you know, he's still kind of like finalizing the the bandages, yeah. uh, and he says, he, he but he sort of like looks off into the middle distance a bit and says, "I don't know what I'm going to do out there." You're going to be fine. You're with us. You're with me. So, uh, um, I'm I'm going to toss him one of the stun batons that I have. And it's not much, but, uh... No, 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 no. Do not give me that. I cannot have a weapon. Cannot get... Harvey, you have to defend yourself out there. I mean, I'm going to do my best for both of us, but... Jackie, if I get a weapon in my hand... I don't know what he'll do. Yeah, but I'm giving you this weapon so you can protect yourself because I personally am going to worry about you if you don't have something because people out there, they're much better armed than just the sun batons. And I trust you. Hmm. We're going to play that one forward oh, to no. this. <laughs> um, and... Uh... I think Harvey is not only going to refuse, uh, this is actually, he, he's going to get upset. Um, so he, um, he like actively shoves your hand with the stun baton Ew. back, uh, finishes what he's Watch doing. It. I can't have that. Okay, I'm, I'm right. sorry. I can't. I'm, you I'm sorry. You know, you know what he wants to do, Jackie. And you just handing me that like it's nothing. You know better than that. <laughs> you want to rescue me? Rescue me. Okay? I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure we get out of this alive. <sighs> I didn't. Yeah, well, I got more than that going on. I know. I I know. Look, there's worse things. There's worse things than not getting out of here, Jackie. I know. I've lived through them with you. And Dent kind of, Dent shakes his head uh, and kind of backs off. Wait. Just rest up, okay? I am glad to see you. I'm, I won't give you the weapons, all right? I'll just, uh, I'll just grow eyes in the back of my head. Yeah. Double eyes. <laughs> Great. That's on me. Stop. <laughs> now she's just gonna shake her head and sort of like bang her hand into the side of the vestibule as he walks away. Yeah, he he kind of backs up uh, to the to the wall uh, and crosses his arms, uh, and you can see he kind of reaches into the uh, the straight jacket. Um, and starts kind of fiddling with something. <laughs> something coin-like. Uh, oh, I fucked this up so fast. <laughs> uh, and his his jaw is kind of set, his, his you know. Uh Manny. Let's let's get a quick little scene of what you are doing uh, as you, you take a second to chill here. Um, Manny had one level of harm. Yeah. I believe it was from the fight on the curb. The bush, when Manny jumped out of the bushes. Yeah. Um, so I think Manny and Harley are just happily chattering away as Harley helps. Yeah, I feel I feel Manny like you're both them. you're both kind of like sitting cross legged on the floor, like facing each other. Uh, and, and just sort of, uh, yeah, as you, as you sort of, uh, 
you know, uh, as you patch up. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, chattering away. What uh, what what is the topic of conversation here? Uh, so I think at this point they are they are probably debriefing after that encounter with the bat. Mm. Mm. Uh, and Manny is like, so you're not mad at him? Like I'm, I'm furious with him still. I mean, he he made a good point. We need him to get out of here, but like. I still haven't forgiven for what he's done. Oh, what? baby, you kidding me? If I get the chance, I'm going to whack him and break all his kneecaps. OK, good. But I thought you were going soft on me, babe. But you're right. We need him to get out. So if he's going to be a putz about it and trust us, then we might as well take advantage of that. I know. Don't look a gift bat in the mouth, you know? Mm, a gift bat. When was the last time I gave you a bat as a gift? I should get you some more. Ugh. No. Maybe one with sequins on it? No, no, not like a, not like a bat. A, a bat? Oh, a bat. <laughs> I could do with a yeah. bat right now. Um, did we say that... Had, did did Har- Had Harley grabbed any kind of weapon at any point? I actually forget what we said uh, about that. I think Manny tossed the bandolier of of, of mm, okay. stuff to her. So so she's carrying this this bandolier. Yeah, you know, sometimes y- you just want something long and thick and heavy in your hand. Yeah, especially when you can swing it at the head of a, someone being a dunce. Gives you a real sense of comfort. Mm-hmm. There, I mean, listen. They're the ones out there making such a big deal about sizes of things. And, you know, like, um, mine's bigger than yours. Hulk. It's just a great feeling. And listen, if we get the chance, I would love to take a swing at bats. But uh, we got to get out of here first. That's more important. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. I, and I guess. I guess if not taking a swing at bats means we get to be together even once we're outside, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. See, but Minnie, in my heart. You see, Minnie Muffin, this is character growth for us. We're really improving as people. I think we've matured a lot. I know. We're positively glowing. Like, why would anyone put absolute angels like us in Arkham? I can't imagine. I can't imagine. But you and I know we have that violence in our hearts, even if we don't bring it out. And that's what matters. Uh, yeah, I f- that feels like a good button to me, right? Uh, uh, Harley, uh, Harley leans in uh, and uh, and pecks you on the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Ollie, your quick, quick scene of you. What are you up to as as we just take a, a quick breather? Oh, um, I think Ollie has patched themselves up a little bit. Um, they had a bullet graze. There was, um, I think maybe some ace bandaging around uh, some uh, tender joints after the incident with the Toyota Sienna. Um, sponsor us, you cowards. Um, and uh, currently they are, I think, sitting in whatever shitty folding chairs in this space um, and uh, using, like, a filing cabinet as a table and just uh, kind yeah, of... Yeah, I think you've actually, like, you've dragged this over from, like, the, the little sort of guard station next to the metal detectors. That are yeah. that are just inside the doors here, probably with like a really awful like yeah so mm-hmm. yeah so you've got like your filing cabinet and it's probably like a shitty swivel chair yeah and I think Ollie's just um, taking uh, sorting through all the magazines that we looted off the scarecrows guys and is um, kind of emptying a couple and topping off the rest uh, for these SMGs. Yep. Um, they are they, they just look grim they look grim what's what's going through your head Ollie 
me, the player, resisting the urge to yell at the GM. Um, Because <laughs> I'm a noble creature. Thank you. Um, I, Ollie is just shit. The doc's been in... She's been in the medical ward for five months. And anything that can keep her down for that long has got to be serious. Like, really serious. And... I think, like, the possibilities are just, like, racing through their head. Like, serious illness, serious disease, some sort of poison, some... uh, being maybe comatose, uh... If they were like, uh, if they were spraying her down with those like pheromone blocking herbicidal compounds, like maybe, maybe she's dying. Like there's too many different possibilities, and I think all of them are unacceptable. Yeah, rough. Um, so I think your uh, your your reverie uh, is broken by Harvey, uh, who. Uh, speaks up, leaning against the wall, um, still kind of uh, fidgeting uh, with with his arms crossed, fidgeting with one one hand. All right. Um, so we want to get to the medical facility, right? I've been over there. They've had to take me over once or twice. Two ways that I can think of. Um, you can either go back down to the first floor. There's some underground passages that uh, they use to bring people back and forth from here if they need to go uh, over to, to the medical clinic. Or we go out, we go overland across the grounds, try to get in through the front door. It's a bit uh, crowded outside we took care of some of them coming this way but the underground might not be a bad idea yeah is this uh this crane guy he's got what guys troops people outside <laughs> they're armed and uh not just with guns some people some of them anyway they're carrying tanks of that gas they're not, they ain't trains. He, he called nah. them uh, grad students? He made a yeah, joke we, about them uh, being grad students? We choose through them. Tracks? Because they aim like shit. Well. I've seen stormtroopers better. <laughs> Ow. Now, they might aim like shit, but there's enough of them. We could still get dinged. Yeah. All right. I think Jackie's got it right. Tunnels. She looks over at the at the rest of you like, yeah. I mean, there's no guarantee they haven't started patrolling down there, but. Maybe Crane's too busy trying to hold the top side. Maybe if uh, Batman's flying around out there, he's about to have a hell of a time doing that. <laughs> Crane, I mean, holding the top side. Yeah, let's just hope the bat save us saves us uh just a piece because I want to get my hands on this guy real bad. Well, Dent kind of looks at you out. with an expression that you are not quite able to decipher. It's somewhere between disappointment and admiration. (laughs) And you legitimately cannot tell which of those two it is. I see that. It could go completely one way or the other. I I see that. And I raise you. Jackie translates that expression. And very briefly, it is the same. It is it is transposed with the expression that she saw in that fear gas state. And she just blinks and and looks away. All right. Well, everybody good. I'm I'm set. Everybody else is patched up. 
I think Ollie very dramatically like um, holds a submachine gun, uh, slaps a magazine into it, and uh, racks the charging handle. Harley Quinn goes, "Hell yeah, Ollie! Fuck! Let's go. We ain't got time. Come on." Uh, and, uh, Harley Quinn, uh, you know, sort of leaps somersaults to her feet. Uh, Harvey Dent pushes himself out from the, uh, from the wall. Uh, and Jackie, now you can see that he is kind of juggling the coin between his fingers back and forth. Uh, but he drops his hand to his side, uh, and uh, sort of falls in with the group. So you head, uh, you head back into high security um, for the second time at this point. Uh, yeah, you're 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 really getting the tour. You're really getting the tour of Arkham Asylum here, uh, and uh, you make your way back across the Panopticon Bridge to the elevator. Take that down two stories to the ground floor, uh, which is actually two stories underground. You came in on the or. Two stories to the bottom floor of the Panopticon. You came in on the ground floor, you walked across that bridge, uh, and there are two stories below you. One has cells, the bottom most, where the elevator lets you out, does not. But there are a number of uh, heavy-duty security doors in this area, and there is one uh, that, you know, in those big, blocky, spray-painted letters that you see over the doorways in the high security facility that does say uh, medical clinic access. Uh, You head for that. Uh, You are able to swipe your uh, pilfered key cards, no problem. And you move into the tunnels below Arkham Island. Um, the passage that you enter here is, uh, dim, uh, like, uh, it is, I, I think unlike the other areas that you've been in, there are no emergency lights here. Um, so this is just actually lit at periodic intervals by um, uh, bulbs that are behind those little cages, right? Um, and they're spaced pretty far apart, so it's it's somewhat dim. Um, and this passage is old. Like, the lights are strung through it, and there's some piping that goes along the top that looks uh, more modern. Um but the passage itself, the um, the floor is uh, is paved stone and it's caked with with ages of dirt. Um, the walls are these uh, this crumbling stone masonry that uh, it, this this passage is certainly much much older than the high security facility that it's attached to. Uh, It might even be older than the manor house, the Victorian manor house. Um, And you make your way down this uh, dank passage, but not like that. Uh, Sorry, it's not that it's not that cool. I mean, it is cool, which is because it's dank, but like, listen, don't worry about it. It's moist in there. It's no good. Um, Towards the medical clinic. God damn it. Uh, 
And you know that you're approaching the medical clinic when you do start to see the faint glow of red emergency light emanating from a security door with a uh, a porthole window in it. What do you do? All right. We don't know what's up there. Just everyone be on alert. Yeah. Watch a six. Um, she still has her gun. And she's clutching it pretty tightly now. Are you in the lead, Jackie? Um, I don't think Ollie's in the lead, right? Yeah. I Ollie's in the lead? That. Yeah, I think Ollie is absolutely... If nothing else, Jackie's pretty fucked up, so Ollie's just... Um, I mean, I'm no longer as fucked up as I used to be. I'm fucked up in new and better ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jackie 2.0, fucked up in new and more interesting ways. <laughs> it's like the USB-C. You can be yeah. fucked up in all positions. Uh, I I think Jackie... I mean, she trusts you to, to be able to watch herself and... Uh, and your girl's up there, so she's going to let you do what you need to do. Yeah, Ollie is chomping at the bit, and I think kind of moving quickly, um, quickly and quietly down this hallway. Yeah. Um, this door, with you said it has like a porthole style? Yeah, there's sort of a, a porthole window in it. Um, Is there a lock or a handle or a pat- keypad or anything like that? Uh, there's like a, a big, there, there's sort of a big heavy duty, like, um, I don't know what you call it, a big heavy duty handle on the door. Like a lever. Yeah, like a lever handle. Uh, and you can see that uh, it has been outfitted with a, uh, a key card reader as well. Okay. Can um, Ollie kind of creep up close to that door and kind of do a quick look through? to see, especially if there's any visible gas, but um, if there's somebody in there as well. Yeah. So you come up to the door, Ollie, and you look over to peek in, and a hand smacks against the glass right in front of your face. Uh, and you, you see it sort of claw down the glass as the person who it belongs to pulls their face into view and you see a man uh, in glasses and a white lab coat uh, his eyes practically bulging out of his head uh, and you hear muffled through the, the door and the glass on the other side Please help us. Please help us. We're so scared. We're so scared. And Ollie, you can see beyond this man's panicked face. uh, This red lit room is filled with billowing brown gas. I think Ollie just looks back to the rest of the, of the others. Uh, presumably, could they hear that at all? It was pretty loud. Uh, it, it made it through a, a, a pretty substantial door. So I oh. think it's a good bet everybody could hear it, unless everybody, like, really hung back to send Ollie forward. No, I think we heard that. You guys ready? Now we're right there. Gas masks on. Yeah. Gas masks on. Um, and Ollie will keep the improvised one. I think there's four regular ones for... I think you have, like, a... Wouldn't we say you have, like, a KN95-ish yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, like, I, I don't have, like, a proper, like... You don't have, bio. like, the full... Yeah, yeah. I don't have, like, a proper, like, uh, hazmat. Mm-hmm. Um, this is more of a... Uh, 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 hope, uh, thoughts and prayers. This is the thoughts and prayers kind of mask. I um, I did offer you up Jackie's. Yeah, no. All right. Um, so everybody gonna... everybody has a everybody has a a full gas mask taken from the, the scarecrow goons. 
Including Jackie, Harley and Manny, me. Harley, Harvey. <laughs> but <laughs> Ollie has uh, a respirator. Yes, mm-hmm. that is correct. Um, okay. All, Ollie's going to tap the car, uh, the door, um, and uh, turn the lever, I, th- I think, with one one uh, one hand. All right. As uh, as you turn the lever and open the door, gas comes billowing out into the tunnel. And uh, this guy, this uh, this doctor you can now see in a lab coat uh, rushes out uh, and sort of throws himself at you uh, oh. and uh, oh, and is going uh, to to try to like get get a hold of you please you have to get us out of here we've been trapped i d- he said everyone was dead he told us everyone out there was dead get the fuck off of me and ollie's gonna hit him in the face with this machine gun Ooh. okay uh give me a skirmish roll uh this guy is level zero so, <laughs> so you, do I get a dice? Yes. So oh, yeah. you outrank. Oh, feels good. You outrank this guy. Uh, so you're up. Hold on. One. Let me beat up the. Let me beat up the traumatized prison doctor in Arkham. So really, actually, hold on. That's right. That's why I'm doing this because I don't feel bad at all. Um, that's a six and a two. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, with with a six, um, you uh. You, you hit him hard, uh, and he he sort of stumbles back into into the door frame, uh, and kind of leans against it and and reaches out a trembling hand in Ollie in your just, direction. Ollie just pushes past, just goes right. Please, past we him. need to get out. You need to take us out of here, please. If we're walking past, I think you you Jack- push past him and into. Uh, into this room where there are a number of other doctors and nurses in a similar state. Some of them have have gone a little catatonic uh, mm-hmm. and they are, you know, uh, you're in some sort of um, uh, essentially like um, reception transfer area, right? Because they're bringing patients back and forth. Is- is here. there anybody that looks like they're in charge? Uh, impossible to say. You you see a number of doctors who, uh, you know, uh, some of them, like I said, have gone catatonic. They're huddled in the corner. Um, but uh, a couple of them sort of, uh, a couple of the doctors and nurses sort of tw- start moving towards you, uh, saying, you know, oh my God, there's people out there. They're alive. There's living people. Please, you have to help us. You have to get us out of here. And there, there is um, like a good dozen people sort of who are going to kind of try to swarm you. What do you do? Um, I, I'm, I don't want to hog the spotlight. I feel like, are you guys close behind Ollie? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, ja- yeah, Jackie, you had something. So I do think to the to the one doctor that is now in the passageway. Like as we're all walking past, Jackie will stop for a few seconds and just kneel down to be like, "The door's open." She'll gesture down the hallway. Just go. Just get out of here. I, I don't know what's out there. It's long. It's dark. We've been here for so long. Yeah. So, so now you have some idea of how it feels like. Go. It's full of magic and wonder, I promise. Uh, Jackie, give me. <laughs> uh, this is command for sure. Yeah. Um, I have and a one in command, so I have great. He's zero, so I've got two now. Uh, yep. Yeah, so you're you're up one because this guy's level zero. Uh, four and a three. Four and a three mixed. So four. Okay, so four is going to be a mixed success. Um, hmm, what does what does that look like in in this scenario? Um, he okay. Um, he says, "All right, is it it's safe out there?" 
No, but it's your only chance. So you better take it. I'm feeling generous right now. Can we all go? All, all of us have to go. We all you need to all go. You can do whatever you want. No, no, no. You need to tell them. You need to tell them that it's okay. You need to tell them that they can go this way. They can go this way. I never said it was perfectly safe. I just said that there was a way out. Do you want the way out or do you want to be entirely safe? We're so scared. I know, I know. All of us have been. Some of us have been scared at the hands of the likes of you guys for a lot longer. So again, I say, take the generosity or I can just knock you out. It's clear that he's not going to leave without everybody else who's in there. So Jackie will just turn around and raise her voice. Hey, you want to get out of here? There's the door. I think Ollie's going to crib onto this moment to just kind of um, just uh, just kind of bark um, a question at this crowd. Where's Pamela? Isley. If nobody tells me in the next 15 seconds, somebody gets shot. Mm. All right. A uh, couple of rolls. A couple of rolls are going to happen. Uh, let's resolve that first. Um, command, for sure. Uh, Would you consider Jackie helping in this instance? Yeah, what what do you do? Or uh, I think just we can maybe resolve the previous what what Jackie's just shouted to everybody. Um, it's like there is a way out. However, we are standing I would argue in the way I'm of it. I'm helping you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it it right. It, I like it felt like that better. was the base assist. So I need something a little more for it to count as a, a okay. help that kicks over to Ollie. Uh, I'll be too. Manny, you you also have uh, yet to enter the room. So what are you doing uh, here? And do you assist in any way with this? Yeah, I think Manny is going to be like, all right, babe, let's get him out of here. And I think Manny's just going to go and be like, OK, people, we're going to move in an order towards the exit. It's going to be OK. I promise it's scarier in here than out there. Out there is where dreams live. Let's go. Let's go. And very like just like um, a kindergarten teacher, like, you know, move, making the holler and motions to people like essentially not giving them the choice because people tend to like if someone comes in and starts doing that, people will like she start to get hurt. In. Yeah, for sure. For sure. OK, so uh, you can pay one stress. Then, if you would like to kick sure. uh, kick a die over to Ollie, Ollie, Will do. you are up one because you out level these folks. So I believe you're starting with three. Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's see how that goes. Six, five, two, six. Great, great. Okay, so uh, so this is this is going to work. Um, so the the people who who start who who had been approaching you, Ollie, as you uh, a, as you say your piece, kind of back off, uh, and then Manny starts ushering them out. Uh, and uh, if you uh, if you move to the side, uh, the the last person out. Um, is a, uh, a a nurse, uh, let, let's say a, a, a late woman of late middle age uh, who uh, in scrubs who stops by you uh, as as everybody, uh, you know, the last person in this this line of people straggling out into the tunnel uh, and says. The operating theater. She's in the main operating theater. Go. And she scurries out after the rest of the people. The uh, 
the doctor who uh, you initially spoke to has been in the doorway the entire time uh, as people have been filing past. Uh, And he looks back at the group of you going into what to him is an absolute horror show nightmare and looks to the the five of you now standing in this gas-filled room and says, what are you going to do in there? You want to stick around and find out? <sighs> and he just sort of slowly backs away from you down the tunnel into the darkness and the scurrying footsteps of these doctors and nurses fade away down the tunnel. Those people didn't look so great, huh? (laughs) They were more generous with them than they'd been with us the entire year we've been here. They deserved a lot worse. You think they'll be okay, babe? Eh, who cares? Eh, fair. Uh, Ollie's looking for, like, an emergency fire escape chart or um, anything yeah, cool. that would give kind of the layout of the space. Uh, and trying really hard not to think about the operating theater bit, which has zero good implications. It really doesn't. It's pretty bad. Yeah. I'm gonna kill everybody. All right. We can't. I... I'm gonna cripple and maim everybody. I don't don't see... I I don't see this being a role because I don't think there's any chance of you failing to find uh, a fire route map. Uh, I mean, it is Arkham. In here. I don't know about. I don't know if uh, Gotham OSHA is on the job. Yeah. Hey, David, can you tell yeah. me about OSHA and Gotham? Oh God. <laughs> well, here's the thing about Gotham City. Uh, the mob and and uh, a number of other criminal syndicates control large swaths of the heavy industry in Gotham mm-hmm. City. And the uh, the the local inspection offices for various uh, state and federal and city agencies are chronically underfunded. And uh, those guys don't get great salaries and are extremely easily bribed. So you can you can kind of extrapolate from there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Come with me and you'll see <laughs> a world of OSHA violations. Yeah. OSHA? Don't know her. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but there, there's still, you know, there's, there's some basic stuff. It's not, it's uneven. Uh, the future is unevenly distributed. Uh, <laughs> so... You know, sometimes there's there's reasonable safety stuff. Sometimes there's not. In this case, I don't think you have any trouble finding a uh, a fire escape map. However, given that you are walking into this room filled to the brim with fear gas, and you are the only one wearing a less than 100% perfectly effective sealed gas mask, I am going to need you to make a resistance roll, Ollie. Uh, Hopper is going to use this as an opportunity to remind everybody that PPE exists for a reason. Mm-hmm. Always wear your protective equipment. S- sometimes it seems dumb. The reason why it's mandated is because somebody's had a horrible fucking accident and either got crippled or died or horribly maimed. Listen, Ocha. No kidding. Actually, good. <laughs> like, look, I'm not a big fan of government overreach. Osha ain't that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. uh, What am I rolling? So uh, you are going to roll with your resolve uh, as you are using your natural uh, bio. Well, not natural, but your your uh, uh, acquired. Yeah, your unnatural biological (laughs) processes to deal with the gas and the mask that you have takes that down, takes the um, the number that you subtract from down by two. So normally it's six minus 
your highest from the roll, it's going to be four minus the highest. Oh, dope. So I'm rolling three. Yep. Um, Because who's been putting all their points into pips instead of abilities? This dork. All right. That's a six, a six, and a three. So all right, hell, hell yeah, yeah. we'd love to see it tonight. Yeah, it helps free, that I've been rolling a lot. Free and clear. Even if even if you didn't have the mask, uh, you would actually be completely fine. Uh, yeah, Doc knows her work. She sure does. She sure does. So you uh, you poke around this room and you see behind there is a desk. Uh, uh, there, there is kind of a, a nurse's station desk here, and you can see uh, to the side of the desk next to the door is uh, posted a map on, on a, uh, you know, a plastic printed on a plastic panel um, that has a, uh, a route, uh, a fire escape route through this area. Um, so and the operating theater is marked on there. Let's have a let's have a study roll from you here, because I don't think you have any problem finding the map. The question is, is it on the same floor? Because this map is only going to show the current floor. One of the two abilities I do not have any pips in, so I'll be rolling two and taking the lower. You know, I'm David. What would a devil's bargain be? Mm. Mostly because I really want to find out what the devil's bargain would be. Devil's Bargain. Uh, the... Mm-hmm. The Devil's Bargain here um, is that uh, Crane is going to be watching you specifically throughout the entire time that you are in the medical facility. And do note that he has remote control over theoretically every single system in Arkham Asylum. What do we think, gang? Is that worth it? Or just push? That is your call. I'll push. I, I don't think it's worth giving this little fucking dweeb. Okay. Heart launch. Um, Patriot Act privileges. Sure. We're not renewing the Patriot Act on this podcast. Or <laughs> yeah. this, this live stream. Yeah. Uh, five? That was a five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mixed success. So, uh, you, uh, so I think the way that this is going to manifest is you find it, you're on the right floor. Um, uh, but um, there's there's something weird about it on the map that you can't quite put your finger on, and we will see exactly what that means. Can Ollie just tear the plaque off the wall? Uh, a little later. Yes, you can absolutely do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. You you, you have acquired this. map. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Perfect. All right, David. <laughs> um, phenomenal. Uh, unless anybody's got anything else they need to take care of right now. Operating theater, according to the nurse. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So you uh, you head off through the corridors of the medical facility here. Um, this is uh, a uh, th- this is an old building, but certainly not as old as uh, the the main building, not as old as the the manor house, um, but certainly older than the high security facility. You are walking along um, uh linoleum floors uh there is a uh the the walls here are painted white um with um i think there's um uh i I think there's like those guidance stripes 
to different like color coded mm-hmm. guidance stripes to different areas, uh, which are clearly a, a pretty recent addition. As the uh, the the vibe here is somewhat Art Deco. Uh, this looks like a building that might have been built sometime between like the 30s to the 50s. Um, and as you uh, as you go down the corridors, you know you sort of see these these sort of broad. Art Deco, uh, Art Deco style windows, um, and uh, the the sort of periodic um, construct like uh, struts for the hallways um, are are lightly decorated uh, with these sort of streamline curly cue motifs. Um, nothing nothing too elaborate. Um, Everything is awash in the the red emergency light that has filled uh, all the buildings in the facility since Scarecrow took over. And you are moving through uh, a cloud of brownish haze uh, as the entire facility appears to have, or the entire medical clinic appears to have been flooded with fear gas. So that's fun. Jackie's having a great time. <laughs> and as you are walking down the hallway, you hear the PA system click on, and you hear what I'm sure is now your favorite voice <laughs> in the world, Jonathan Crane. Oh, very interesting. You've made it over here. More friends to pick up, perhaps? You're acquiring quite a collection. I would have thought that having the run of the place, you would have wanted to be free sooner. Clearly, you're rather scared of what might happen to someone if you leave them behind. Jackie reaches for Harvey. <laughs> Manny and Harley are Manny's obviously reaching out for Harley too Ollie's just pushing forward heading as fast as they can towards the operating theater I think this just makes them walk to an annoying annoying level of power walk yeah well I have other things to attend to important matters elsewhere on the island So I do hope you find who you're looking for before it's too late. Click. And the PA system shuts off. You reach the end of this corridor. You hang a right and you see... um, a uh, a pair of uh, swinging double doors uh, with uh, in some nice uh, uh, aluminum lettering uh, embedded into the, uh, the the masonry over the top uh, operating theater observation and if you push open the doors here you see that you are now in the gallery, the observation gallery of the main operating theater of the Asylum Medical Clinic. So this um, this is a rather Coliseum-like uh, area, um, completely indoors, though there is a skylight uh, up at the top of the room. Uh, and certainly not as large as a as as an arena, uh, you know. We're we're in we're in theater in the round territory here, um, but there are uh, you are up um, above the main operating floor. There are a couple of rows of sloped seats uh, that sort of run in a uh, in an oval ring uh, around the entire outside of the operating theater, and. You can see in the center, on the ground floor, one story below you, on the linoleum of the operating theater lit by a spotlight, 
is a greenhouse-like structure. A uh, sort of a smallish dome of glass and metal. And inside, you can see uh, the light of the spotlight is glittering off a, a veritable jungle. This uh, this little dome is filled with greenery. What do you do? Um, is there a way down into the theater itself? Not that you can see. Uh, there is a. Uh, you get down to the, the end of the seats. You get down to the end of the seats, and there's a railing. Uh, and then it's a, you know, it's a drop into the theater. How far drop? It's probably about 12 feet. Ollie will, uh, use the railing to, um, drop down a little bit and then Mm -hmm. actually drop the rest of the way. Cool. Um, is everybody else following or are you staying up? Manny doesn't stay up. We're going. If we're jumping off of stuff, we're going. <laughs> uh, yeah. I if guess your Jackie friends all follow. jumped off the railing into an operating theater, would you two? Yes. The answer yeah. is yes. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, you uh, uh, let's let's have let's have a little roll for it for funzos. Uh, oh boy. We'll 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 see if <laughs> we'll see if this goes hideously wrong. So uh, you are definitely maneuvering your way down. Um, so you're rolling maneuver. Nothing, you know, nothing, nothing dinging you. Um, push yourself. Take a devil's bargain. What have you? Nah. If we want to roll this as a team action, that's an option for everybody. I'm I'm pretty confident. I just got the one dice, but I don't know if I want to push myself for this. Up to you. I'm going to risk it. (laughs) What's another Uh, injury, right? (laughs) Maddie and Harley are jumping off in like synchronized backflip front flip. (laughs) Yeah, Harley is Harley is like, oh, baby, look, a thing to jump off of. Let's do it. (laughs) <laughs> Just take the running leap. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Everybody, roll. Uh, roll a maneuver. Oh, I got three of those. Ooh. Yeah. Same. Two Four. sixes. All right. Uh, cool. So Manny, two sixes. Uh, is a critical. You get an extra effect. Um. <laughs> uh. Who? Okay. Who? Jackie or Ollie, uh, do you want to, after you flip over the railing, catch so that they do not injure themselves when they drop? Because I'm a romantic at heart, it has to be Ollie. <laughs> okay. This is now you're seeing this shine. cartoon version of you doing this effortless jump. You grab Ollie while Jackie just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. The- we all just go. There's a simultaneous. Yeah. From everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, Jackie. That's one box of level one no, it's, harm. It's just keep it, keep it coming. I love it. Like I said, the care, the care physical description is once one bruise uh, leaves, another one enters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think I think what happens is you know you you yeah. drop, and it's not so much that you get injured anew. It's just that you know as you it as hurts. you sort of hit the the floor, you know you feel the pain kind of radiate up from your feet. Uh, into the wound in your side. Yeah, your your shot. back is just fucked for the next like you know three months. You're just like, Ugh. I'm God. good. I, that happened to me. Except all I did was sleep wrong. <laughs> well, yeah. remember, did I tell you about three weeks ago? I like sprained my back kind of while putting on pants. <laughs> We're dying slowly. Age is a wonderful thing. Age is crime. <laughs> Age truly is crime. Wow. All right. So you all uh, elegantly or less elegantly <laughs> scramble your way uh, down over the side. Okay. Uh, as as uh, as Cole Drake has said in chat, Manny and uh, Harley, you do your your Cirque du Soleil 
uh, <laughs> you do your Cirque du Soleil little show, and uh, you are all now, uh, I, I think Harvey kind of drops down last uh, with a w- with like a heavy thunk uh, onto the linoleum. And you are all now facing this glass dome filled with plants in the center of the operating theater. Okay, go get your girl. Um, yeah, yeah, on it. Um, really? Because you're not moving. I think, uh, yeah, Ollie is A, not moving, and B, too stressed out to even correct Jackie about go get your girl. Um, and, uh, like, is. Because is, she's not wrong. I still have bullets. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, is there an obvious way into this greenhouse dome thing? There's kind of a, uh, there's kind of an airlock on it. Uh, okay. So there, there appears to be jutting out of one side, uh, kind of a a uh, little double door, like a like a very short uh, glass corridor, uh, and there is uh, what appears to be a, a uh, pressure sealed door um, on the outside. Okay, uh, Ollie will pop the exterior. Yeah, you do. Open. You you do have to swipe your uh, your guard's key card, um, but that will change the little light from red to green, uh, and you can turn the wheel uh, on this thing. And with a a nice kachunk, uh, it uh, opens. Uh, um, are are airlocks supposed to open outwards or inwards? Uh, outwards, otherwise you wouldn't have space. It depends. Well, on and then whether, don't you have to? Depends on where you're trying to keep. Yeah, so it depends yeah, on where you're trying yeah. to keep stuff in or out. Theoretically, it should also have some sort okay. of thing to filtrate the air. So it but, it opens out, then. Yeah. I think because the pressure is is higher inside, and that and they want that to push the door well, closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you want depends, the air. It depends to push on out. whether you're trying to keep something out or in. Yeah. You yes. want the pressure to be going, to be containing yeah. whatever it is, or keeping whatever. So you if, don't if want outside out. is gross, it opens out. If inside is gross, it opens in. The more you know. Yeah. Where is the gross? <laughs> well, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, the door swings outwards, um, and uh. You, you know, you have to pull it closed behind you uh, in order to operate the mechanism on the other door. They're mechanically linked. You can see like the uh, you can actually see the the linkage uh, go across the, the top of the little tunnel that you're in. I think we're going to hang out outside of this. Yeah, Ollie, you're the only one going in. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, m- I imagine there's not that much space anyways. There is um, not. There is not. Yeah, I think Ollie has uh, slung the um, the SMG on their back and is um, just uh, and seals the airlock from uh, the exterior airlock door, yep. and then is going to go to uh, the interior airlock door. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you you go over to once the the outer door is sealed, you go to the inner door, uh, open that. Uh, and uh, pull it, uh, pull it out, and there is a rush of uh, cool air, scented with earth and greenery and flowers. Uh, a, a light floral scent drifting towards you, uh, and it sort of washes over you, Ollie. And you can see now inside the dome, there uh, are these plants all around the edge growing upwards and outwards, vines, uh, broad, uh, leafy, uh, leafy plants of all, all different varieties spreading out over, uh, dangling garlands of flowers. And um, some of the plants are growing out of pots uh and some of them are just pushing right up through uh through the floor uh directly 
and in the center of the room, you see a hospital bed. And there is a person lying on the bed, propped up slightly, uh, green skin, red hair, hooked up to a variety of machines, uh, monitoring devices, uh, IV drips, and a network of tubes, clear plastic tubes, that seem to be pumping some sort of greenish substance from her body. It's almost fluorescent in the spotlight filtering down through the glass. And these tubes are leading to various plants around the room, various monitoring stations. And you see in front of you Poison Ivy. And she does not initially stir when you open that airlock door and step inside. Uh, but you you definitely make note of these clear plastic tubes uh, that seem to be uh, seem to be coming out of her uh, pumping some kind of green liquid. And it seems to be pumping out of her. That you're not you can't tell a hundred percent, but the the flow does look outward rather than inward. All of sure. them? Uh, the ones that are filled with green fluid, for sure. Uh, there there ones. are like, there, there's like an IV drip, for example, uh, that, you know, it is hooked up to, to an actual uh, stand with IV bags, uh, and that definitely seems like, uh, you know, standard IV drip going in. Ollie wants to look around for any sort of, uh, if she hasn't woken up, they don't want to risk, um, doing something that, because she might be really sick or, uh, these tubes seem like bad news. So I think they're looking around trying to find any sort of labels or medicine jars, vials, anything. Okay. Um, so you poke around a bit. What you see is, um, there are, uh, there are a couple of monitoring devices, uh, that, that she's hooked up to. Um, so there is, uh, th there's sort of like a standard medical, you know, heart monitor. Um, there, there's something that, uh, has, uh, the, the, the look of like an EKG sort of a thing where you can see there's some electrodes going back to uh, a couple different spots. She's in a, a you know, uh, asylum issue hospital gown. Um, and you, you can see that uh, she is hooked up to electrodes for, for some of these devices. Um, in terms of, uh, in terms of labeling, um, you note that some of the potted plants are labeled. Um, and uh, it's just it's just sort of uh, numerical. Uh, so, you know, one, two, three, four in in sequence. And the tubes, uh, you know, the, these sort of very thin little tubes filled with this green fluid are going in are going from her and into uh, the plants. And you notice that there are um, there's a couple of different species uh, of plants here, uh, and they, the tubes sort of snake into, um, some, uh, some, like, little plastic devices that are staked into, uh, into the soil. Um, a couple of them go directly, uh, into, like, uh, you know, somebody has, um, uh, like graft style, uh, sort of uh, peeled away the the bark from like a small tree or shrub, uh, and and that is uh, that is inserted directly in there, and you can actually see that it started to kind of like start to grow around the uh, the tubing, um, and then uh, there's um, there's a couple that um, are are going into um, like 
what you would otherwise think of as blood collection bags, like when you when you give blood. Mm. Okay. This feels all reductive as opposed to additive other than the IV. It's hard to say what's in the IV, but um, I think Ollie is going to um, go up to the uh, the medical bed and just um, just kind of uh, very gently tap on the frame. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ivy stirs. Uh, you know, her, her chest has been sort of gently rising and falling as you were looking around, uh, and it sort of, you know, has that, that moment of awakening, like, quick breath in, seizing, um, that, uh, and then sort of, uh, rolls her head, uh, across the pillow and, and kind of blearily opens her eyes, uh, to look at you and seems... It, it seems like she is being sort of pulled back from a great sleep, uh, a, a deep sleep. Uh, she's not fully aware of her surroundings yet, perhaps. Pardon? <sighs> um, I think Ollie just kind of like lean, uh, uh, just I think uh, takes it takes a knee, um, and just uh, kind of um. Taps, uh, taps her very gently and just like, Doc, you, uh, you awake? <sighs> Holly? Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's, it's me. Holly, is that you? Yep. Still mostly in one piece, too. Where did you, how did, how, where did you come from? How did you get in here? Uh, I've been in here for months. We, uh, we finally broke out. Um, I, uh, obviously I'm going to come get you. We got out. Are we out? No, no, we're, we're, we're still, we're still in, in Arkham. You're in the medical wing. They got you hooked up to all these tubes. It uh, looks like the... I'm still in their you. cage. Yeah. You uh, want me to pull the tubes out? She looks down at the uh at the at the tubes um her eyes are bleary she uh appears drugged i think i I'm, i was debating if if this is a role but uh, i think you can infer pretty easily yeah. uh she appears drugged uh, and she kind of studies uh the uh the the tubes and she says they gave me new roots. <sighs> you, you were you weren't sick before that, though, right? I'm not sick. I think Ollie's gonna immediately pull, uh, pull the IV bag out, like the the needle. Yeah. Um, I assume she, I assume she's got like a shunt or something. Yeah, there. So you know, there's gonna, like there's like a port. Um, yeah. yeah I think she that. probably has. Um, uh, they they've probably put into each arm something. Um, so the IV bag, you know, the stuff going in, uh, is is in one side, and then the green tubes sort of collect uh, on the on the other arm. So you gonna, pull you pull the IV bag, uh, you, you pull the um, uh, you, you know you pull the tubing for the IV v bag out of the out of the shunt there, and uh, yeah, uh, and and that's um, that's one set of tubing out. Um, do you leave the other, or are you going for both of them? This might pinch a little, Doc. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull these out, okay? 
Yeah, it's okay. Do it. I think uh, Ollie leans across and uh, pulls out the tubing that's in the other arm. Uh, yeah, and you you pull that out, uh, and I think there's just the uh, as you know as you withdraw it uh, from the end of it, this uh, the the fluid uh, just sort of drips out, uh, maybe a little bit onto your fingers. It's blood. It's poison ivy's blood. I think Ollie just um. We're going to get out. We're going to go now, okay? And do you think you can walk? Or? Yeah, I'll try. Um, Ollie holds, uh, holds like a hand out just, um, to, just to offer support if needed. Um, and, uh, all right, I'm right here, boss. Like, yeah, she she takes it and, and sort of swings over to the the side of the bed as as best she can, kind of starting to sit up uh, and sort of hunches over on the side, uh, kind of clutching your your hand. <sighs> they were running experiments on me, Ollie, trying to figure out. How I do the things I do. What my mutations are. The effects on the plants. Trying to take it for themselves. That sounds about right. That's... I shouldn't even be surprised. They made me grow a garden. And she what? looks around blearily at the plants here. What? Why? Do you know why? They want to use me for something. Or... Oh, fuck them. They, use what I can can't. do for something. Well, we're getting out of here. So, um, there's... One hitch. I got, we got uh, Jackie and Javi and Manny and Harley out there. But uh, the entire place is pumped full of some sort of gas. Some weird, creepy little dude named Crane has, uh, he sees the, sees the whole facility. Um, um, we made a deal with the bats. Ah. Crane took over Arkham. Yeah, do you know him? What a twerp. <laughs> the man wouldn't know organic chemistry if it came up and bit him in the ass. I bet we can arrange for that. All right, uh, I'm getting up. And she, um, with the, with the sort of, she sort of collects herself, uh, and there is this, this sort of, uh, elegance of a queen accepting her attendant's hand, uh, as she rises from the bed to stand straight uh, in the greenhouse. <sighs> you all came to get me. We got Ed out first. His kid was here when Crane's little collegiate goon squad hit the place. But, uh, Everybody else is here, yeah. <sighs> I'll have to leave my babies. I always have to leave my babies. 
and she sort of looks side to side around at the plants. Look, we like I said, we made a deal with the bats that we're going to help them synthesize some sort of organic compound to counteract the synthetic agents that Crane's been pumping everywhere, but also fuck that guy. He's why I was here in the first place. I didn't I, I didn't even know you were here. I I would have come. I would have I would have found a way to get here sooner. Wait, you made a deal with the Batman? Yeah, he caught us out in the open after we got Ed out. And he let you walk away and come find me? In fact, he's kind of wanted that, which seems mad sketchy to me, but... Ali, this is your problem, sweetheart. You're too trusting. And she takes uh, the hand that you are not holding uh, and just sort of gently uh, strokes your cheek with the back of her fingers. You're probably right. The bat isn't just going to let us walk out of here, Ollie. No matter what he said. The people who did this? And she gestures back at the, the medical equipment. Those are his people, Ollie. You know that, right? What? The people in Arkham... The bat. They're all on the same team. The meat team. I mean, we can just run. We don't have to. I, I got you. We can, we can go. And she sort of struggles to start stepping forward. You're the rescue squad, Ollie. I'm in your hands. I don't give a shit about the rest of this. Like... The others out there, I think they... I think they want to trust the bat, too, but I've already been burned once. I know you've been burned before, and this this place, it just eats people. And not just you, everybody eats everybody that it touches. You think we should uh, just let it go? Let Crane run, run wild, then... It ain't my problem. These people are getting far less than they deserve. They're just a bunch of meat, Ollie. But we have to do whatever it takes to get out. Not going back. And she glances again to the bed. Yeah, no. Never again. Uh, You begin walking towards the uh, the airlock, uh, you know, sort of supporting Ivy. um, And as you get to the door, and reach out uh, and put your hand on the on the handle. She reaches out with hers and puts it over yours. She says, "I knew it would be you. I 
dreamed about it. I saw your face through the leaves and the branches. Of course. Look, I'm always going to be here, Doc. I always got you back. She withdraws her hand and lets you turn the airlock door and push it outward. Your next move? Oh, Jesus. Ivy. Hi. Yeah, the the two of you stumble, uh, or, or rather, Ivy stumbles, supported by Ollie, out of the airlock, and the rest of you see Poison Ivy in this hospital gown, looking uh, uh, bleary-eyed, haggard, um, though with a, a certain sharpness. Uh, about her, a certain uh, prickliness, uh, like, you know, thorny. And uh, Ollie, as as you sort of, uh, as you sort of carry her, uh, you know, help her walk out uh, of here, um, Harley immediately rushes forward. Oh my God, Ivy! Uh, and, and sort of runs and starts to support her from the, the other side. Oh, Ivy, sweetheart, what did they do to you? You look bad. Um, and she she sort of like kind of takes her face uh, and like uh, Ivy's face and kind of like turns it uh, in in a couple <laughs> of different directions. Ivy says, "Hi, Harley." <laughs> <laughs> You look great too. We, we've all been been significantly better. Yeah, between us, we got shot and rolled on, and we flew at one point through yeah. wires. Like it day, flipped a car. Yeah, but you know, destroy some poor good. mom's dream. You okay though? I will be. Just need to regain my strength. Well, gang's all huh. here. I have a very important question for David. Yeah. Does my bag of sun chips have any sun chips left in them? <laughs> Fortune roll. Roll for sun chip. God roll damn for it. sun chips. Yeah. Uh, just a just a one d six. Okay, it's a four. Four, uh, yeah. there's like two in the bottom. Man, just without words, holds out. Left her <laughs> back of such as. Uh, yeah, I, Ivy kind of cocks her head at them, looks into the bag, uh, and Harley says, oh yeah, Ivy, these are great, uh, and shoves her hand into the bag, grabs the sun chips, and shoves them into Ivy's mouth. <laughs> And, and then kind of moves her jaw, like, just chew them. They're really good. <laughs> It'll help get that energy back. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and Poison Ivy is standing there, yeah. standing there, like, draped over Ollie and uh, and Harley. Uh, masticating. Just, just kind of, yeah, <laughs> masticating with rage in her eyes. <laughs> The indignity. We can go now. We can get the fuck out. Wait, we have to meet up with the bats at the HVAC. Do we? Do you think that there's a world in which he doesn't realize we double cross him? I mean, what's he really going to? It's he's already screwed us over once. What makes you think he's not going to do it again? It's not just us here. If it was me, I wouldn't care. I mean, I would. I don't want to come back. Well, it doesn't... 
But yes, she, I also don't want them coming back. Yeah. She looks over at Harvey, just Den, not willing to risk, to risk anything. Dent has his arms crossed again, and you can see the, the coin held between his two forefingers. And he says, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be just to break a deal. But no. Uh, and he's he's sort of considering the coin. Have she just gently reaches out and just closes a hand over the one that's holding the coin. He'll catch us if we try anything. We mm. don't have a lot of options. Um, if we run, he'll just bring us right back. I, and I don't want to be on his to-do list. Like, I, if we fulfill our deal and we're lucky, he just forgets we exist. I prefer that. Yeah, listen, as much as I'd love to scrap with the bat, we ain't in no condition to do it. Look no. at us. I don't trust him. I'm not saying that. I'm just, it's our best shot of leaving and never coming back here. And I've had enough of this place. And I think we all have. And honestly, if we help him take down that stair spoon, I'm not mad about it. Yeah, there's I that. really want to punch that guy in the face. Like, it's real bad. A bonus, really, I think. But, um... I think Ollie kind of glances at Poison Ivy to see if she's uh, got any... To Ollie's vibe checking Poison Ivy. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I don't know. Give me a vibe check. Uh, you are... Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, you can either study Poison Ivy with your rego human senses, or you can attune to absolutely your shared attune. plant vibes. Yeah, we're rolling the tune. That's a two. Two. Okay. A tune. <laughs> a tune in a tune. Um, Ivy says... If you go in there and make a deal, the bat, sooner or later, he's just going to drag you back here, each and every one of you. But I'm really not in any condition to argue. I just want to leave. So do we. And Manny. I think this is the point uh, at which you hear um, oh, right. I have an earpiece. I fucking forgot. a little voice in your ear, uh, uh, an extremely relevant Voice, I should say. Um, he problems. Manny, come in. This is the Batman. Uh, yes, Batman. I totally forgot you were in my ear, and you probably heard all of that, and you're probably happy with how we left things. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, Manny. Does anything I do inspire confidence in you, bud? You'd be surprised. Oh, aw, that's real sweet. Um, have you located poison ivy? Yes. Do you have snacks? I think she needs snacks. They were she doing some shit to her. Snacks. Bat snacks. Bat snacks. <laughs> Did you say bat snacks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I mean. I, you have to have a customized line of like gummy bear shaped like bats, right? Like bat snacks or whatever. As long as they're vegan, none of that gelatin stuff. How did you know about those? 
I'm whimsical and quirky, and I guess you are too. It's what I would do if I were you. You see? All right. I'll arrange snacks. But I need you to rendezvous with me in the HVAC facility with Poison Ivy. Um, h- hold on one second. <laughs> and acting like, you know, when you have your phone and you're like, you hold your phone away as you ask the group, hey, does anybody know where the actual, a- how we get to the HVAC facility from here? Uh, Ollie looks at the, the plaque. Does the map the tell you? <laughs> um, it says the building, right? Yeah, this is just the one building. I mean, you know, it's on the, you know, it's on the south side of the island near the, uh, the docks. So We've it is into the docks before. I think. Have we? Wait, no, 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 we haven't. I'm just thinking about. You, Never you mind. could have. <laughs> it's flew it's over, plausible. We flew over the docks. Yeah, that doesn't count. Um. Um. So yeah, so many, many, yeah. You, you can you know uh, you you can certainly make a, a fair attempt at navigating towards it uh it is it is you certainly know uh the whole physical plant uh Mm -hmm. for the island is is marked by uh this big tall uh exhaust stack which you know you've certainly seen from various points around the island so then manny will say um Sure, just to confirm, we're meeting you at the physical plant? Like, I don't like, actually know where the uh, HVAC stuff is, so uh, you gotta tell us where to go, bud. Second floor of the physical plant. South. South? Okay, cool. Uh, someone here probably knows what that means. Uh, Why is it, like, knows how to navigate what's south? I mean, well, yeah. Don't see the sun too often. <laughs> what if we go out there and look at the North Star and be like, okay, that way. I mean, there's there's got to be some signs once we get out there. Well, well, yeah, we can figure it out by where the city is. Okay, all right. Well, uh, we're on our way. Uh, do you did you encounter any? Goons on the way. Uh, we're pretty busted. Don't worry. They're taken care of. Cool. The goons are taken care of, y'all. Oh, good. Great. I love this for us. All right, let's... We'll, we'll, we'll go as fast as we can with our current injuries. All right. I'll see you shortly. Batman out. <laughs> Is there really a, and, and Manny just keeps talking as they're walking to him. Is there really a point in saying Batman out when you're just in my ear the whole time listening anyway? <laughs> Wait, did you hear me and Harley earlier? Are you pressing? No, we, no, are, we got. Are you pressing the earpiece as you say this, or are you just monologuing now? Well, she's not sure. He didn't speak up because he heard them talking, so now she's testing whether he could actually hear. Without the button. Hmm. No response. Okay. We technically met him after y'all came up, right? Okay. So that's okay. But yeah, no, she she mostly just wants to, you know, just, was that the time or uh, did you hear us I'm, almost consider not holding our end of the bargain up? <laughs> okay. Uh, he, di- he didn't give any indication that he had heard. Yeah, he didn't. He did not. And he did not answer my question just now. So Manny's willing to believe he cannot hear her unless she presses the button for now. Yeah, he he did he did say press the button to speak when he handed over the uh, the little bat shaped earpiece that he gave you. I'm on bat snacks God. now. <laughs> well, we've established bat snacks as canon, so. Yes, um, listen. it's the most important thing we've done with this entire stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bruce Wilson, you, you, he is a dad. He has. Listen, do you think? Do you think one, either him or Alfred or someone, did not go and buy like a fucking fruit snacks company with all those just kids? to be there? 
Yeah, their personal stakeout night snacks. I bet you, I actually bet you that um, it's some sort of fruit leather variant, and yes. I bet you it's homemade. Oh my god! I bet you it's homemade. I, I oh my, like they've probably got like an actual label printer, so they probably look professional. But Alfred absolutely it, yeah. makes those on like. Yeah, he's got, he's got, yeah, right. this is all Alfred. He's got like a, you know, like a dehydrator and like a whole thing. Yeah. 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 For and, sure, for but sure. But the important thing is that they are shaped like bats. Yes. They are yeah, absolutely they 100% shaped like bats. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's it, it was absolutely a request of the Bat Fam kids yeah. to, I mean, it's, to fuck you, with Bruce. It's, it's, it started with Dick. I mean, once you start getting kids, to go then you the, just have uh, to have like the little like mom pouch of snacks constantly. This, yeah. this is going into the Gotham series Bible. <laughs> yeah, it, it shall be. And uh, and for sure, there was a conversation early on where uh where Dick was like, but I want fruit roll-ups when we're on patrol. And Batman was like, you can't have fruit roll-ups. They're terrible for you. We'll make some at home. They'll be just as good, but they'll be healthy. <laughs> we, we have food at home. at home. <laughs> yeah. And we, and we just see a dejected Robin just, oh, flash, oh. flash forward to the present. Wow. Uh, okay, so uh, y'all have to get from the medical facility to the physical plant, uh, which has central HVAC in it. Um, Should we go out the way we came? What is the plan? Yeah, do you want to do that? Or um, through the tunnel? Unless the map says that there's an exit closer to where we think the plant will be. Mm, I mean, that's if, true. If we do you, have a map of yeah. the exits. So if you look at the map, um, there, there are actually uh, there are a number of exits on... Um, well, what what is now the floor one above you, right? Because yeah. you're you're down in the pit. Oh god, um, we have to climb back up. <laughs> there's I mean, gotta be there's stairs. there's doors. Uh, you know there there's yeah, doors out of this jumps over yeah, railing <laughs> out of this pit <laughs> area. Um, and you can see that uh, there um, uh, there's a side door uh that uh that sort of goes out to like um. Uh, kind of like a, a loading dock kind of a, a situation. Um, there is a uh, there's of course a front door that goes through like the the main reception desk of the medical clinic, um, and you do see marked the escape route uh, to the tunnel um, that does note that you know uh, uh, underground connection to um, to high security. So you got you got some options. You could always go up. Roof is an option. Um, well, we know we don't have to deal with any potential scarecrow hench folk at the moment. Might as well so, just roll out the front. Yeah. OK, yeah, totally doable. Um, give me a. Uh, Give me. <sighs> I think this is either about how well you studied the map or how well you're maneuvering through the space. So uh, I want somebody, uh, or you can do this as, as a team action, but somebody to like be the navigator and take point. Uh, team it action. can very much be Harley and Manny since. I think they are probably the least broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Technically. <laughs> also, neither of them have had the half fear gas today. So like they're, you know. Yeah, they're... don't worry about it. If you shake them real hard, it'll be okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, pick uh, maneuver, study, either either or. Maneuver. Cool. Um, yeah, you're you know you're at you're at level for this. Um, if you want to, you can take a devil's bargain or uh, push yourself. Up to you. I've, I've got three. All right, let's roll them as is. See what happens. Okay, so I got a six, four, and a three. All right, six will do it. Cool. Um, so you are able to to navigate up. 
uh, with the help of the map and the uh, uh, and and just some good uh, good directional sense. Um, you go out one of the doors on the operating room floor. Uh, you follow a corridor to a flight of stairs that goes up. Uh, you actually have to go up three stories, as if you recall, you were underground uh, to enter. You go up three stories, uh, and you are not seeing anybody in this facility. The air is hazy with fear gas, but uh, there are no scarecrow goons prowling around in here. Uh, all the uh, all the medical staff who seem to have been here, uh, you guess, uh, escaped out the tunnels, um, <laughs> and uh, you are able to get to the uh, the lobby uh, and walk through the double doors. Ollie. Uh, I'm going to need a fortune roll from you as you are plowing through this fear gas with one person who is not wearing a gas mask. Uh, this is going to be with Poison Ivy's level, which I have written down somewhere, but I don't actually know what it is off the top of my head. We're going to say Presumably. it's three. Three sounds good to everybody, right? Great. I, I have, I'm sure it was three. That's a, a fuck of five and a six. Okay. Yeah, because Bats was four. Yeah. Um, I think, wait, I thought you had Harley at four. No, Harley, Harley is two or three. Hold on. I got, two I got or three. Okay. Guess. I, I, all I remember is Bats was four. That I don't remember for sure. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. They are both level two. Okay. Uh, Ivy, Ivy and Harley are both two. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll take the balance. Uh, roll, roll goes forward. We'll take that six. And um, you see... Um, Ollie, if you if you sort of glance, you 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 and Harley are still carrying poison ivy uh, on on either side, um, and uh, poison ivy is is or I'm sorry, Harley Quinn is is chattering away a little bit. Like uh, she's clearly pretty distressed to see Ivy like this, um, uh, and and is just sort of, sort of going like. Oh, Ivy, I can't believe, what, what did they do to you? What was this? What, yeah, I can't believe they would do this to you. These people are maniacs. They're absolute maniacs. If I find any of them, I'm going to break every single one of their bones, one by one. I'm going to put them in a greenhouse, see how they like it, uh, and just sort of like this rolling, this kind of rolling monologue. Ivy is just sort of breathing in a steady rhythm, um, and... Ollie, as you glance over at her, you see that she breathes in uh, and is definitely breathing in the brown gas. Uh, and then as she breathes out, uh, she is breathing out a uh, slightly greenish tinted gas uh, as she has fucking Dune style brought this into her body, denatured the toxin uh, and breathed out normally. And go. the now uh, six of you uh, open the main doors of the medical clinic. There is uh, a, a sort of flight of steps uh, uh, similar to the inside, a sort of a um, streamline art deco um, uh, overhang uh, above you uh, and uh, and sort of uh, railings along the steps uh, and you go down to a um, sort of a gravel driveway walkway here uh, you know something that you, you might be able to traverse in, in a little cart or something like that um, and 
you definitely have to get through, uh, I should say, you definitely have to get through a couple of security doors on your way, but it's, you have the key card, it's no problem. And you step back out into the night air, a light night. drizzle falls on you, and... Probably take off that mask. You can, yes, take off your gas masks at, uh, at last, and breathe some uncontaminated air. So, what do you do next? I think we're, we're making a beeline for that physical plant. Great. And okay. I, yeah. Do we pass by the parking garage to get to the physical plant? You do not. So, okay. you are on the same side of the island as the... Well, wait, hold on. Let me, let me actually... Let me actually check if that's correct. Because um, that's on the same side as that's east. Yes, you are on the same side of the island as the parking garage. Um, however, uh, you are now back some ways behind the main building. So as you step out of the medical building, um, what you see is... Um, so to the north... Uh, is uh, to the north and your right is the main building, right? So you see the the sort of big gothic bulk with the two wings of the main asylum building. Uh, directly across from you is the high security facility, the big concrete bunker, uh, and that is uh, that is facing east, right? So you're facing east directly, coming from these doors, um, and then. Additionally, further further north beyond the main building, off the courtyard is where you have the parking garage on one side, um, to the west, and the uh, the administration building or the manor uh, on the opposite side on the east. And those are of course separated by that fence that you notably jumped. Um, I think if you glance, uh, if you glance to uh, to the north. Uh, you do see the um, <laughs> you're you're sort of in the middle of a hill, uh, so the there's this sort of rolling lawn that slopes down from the main building to uh, the water on the south side of the island, and uh, you do see up at the at the top of the hill uh, the wreckage of a uh, incredibly sensible family minivan. Um, yes, and to your left and the south is the physical plant, this uh, sort of brick bulk of a building with this long, tall, uh, a couple of smaller uh, kind of vents uh, and, uh, and smokestacks and this big, long, tall chimney that rises into the night sky. You head for it. Yeah, I yeah, I, I definitely think Jackie tries to, at the very least, retake Harvey's hand as they're walking because she's noticing how fidgety he's getting progressively. Yeah. Um. So the, your your group walks down this gravel pathway and you go down, uh, down the hill, um, and you come to a uh, paved area. Uh, at the at the bottom of the hill, and now you're close to the water. The physical plant is right on the water, uh, and next to it there uh, is a um, there's sort of a pier, uh, and the top of it is is sort of paved with asphalt, um, and then there um, uh, there there are uh, there's a ledge that drops into the water, um, and there's a, a couple of um, uh, GCPD and uh, like uh, asylum uh, uh, marked uh, speedboats that are bobbing there in the water. You could just get in those boats. So tempting. You could just get in those boats if you wanted. I but, mean, the idea is definitely going through Jackie's head. I'm not gonna lie, but it feels hopeless. I think you can literally see Ollie just kind of doing the mental calculus. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're probably both very visibly now, like, looking at them. It's one thing to talk about it in theoretical terms, it's another thing to see. Yeah. 
right there. So sure close. is. It's really close. He just gets us. We get what? Maybe a few feet on the water? And then it'd be over. I right, we are we doing this or are we doing this? Let's just do it before I change my mind. Yeah, you don't have to say that twice. <laughs> and you turn away from the boats, uh and towards the looming hulk of the physical plant. Um the entryway here uh, is kind of a uh, a large garage door situation. So there is this big metal roll up door, uh, which is currently open. And you walk into um, a uh, you, you walk into a, a concrete paved space. Um, fairly, fairly dim, not well lit, uh, large. Um, there are a number of vehicles parked in here, uh, mostly for getting around the island, but, uh, one or two that, uh, you know, look like, uh, you know, inmate transport, uh, vans, um, uh, a couple of, uh, a couple of, like, squad car, uh, looking, looking vehicles, um, that could, you know, probably get off the island. Um, and uh, you see a, uh, if you go across, there is um, a, a door that leads to some stairs. Security here is light compared to where you have been thus far. Um, like the... Uh, the people that run Arkham Asylum are not expecting anybody who's not supposed to be here to to be here. Um, so you are able to uh, go across the garage and go up the stairs uh, a couple of floors and you um, emerge into... A, uh, another large open space, uh, sort of an industrial loft situation. So, uh, you know, the the sort of very, very thin light that manages to filter its way through the storm clouds and the rain uh, is coming in through these big arched uh, industrial rent windows surrounded by brickwork. Um, and this room is filled with heavy machinery. Uh, you, you can see, you know, these very large tanks and pumps, uh, and these big squat, uh, big squat metal machines with ductwork running out of them in every direction. Um, and standing in the center of the room, uh, illuminated in this thin stormlight, surrounded by the unconscious or uh, writhing uh, uh, in pain uh, on the floor bodies of an extremely large number of scarecrow goons. Uh, which, of course, you can tell by their burlap hoods uh, and gas masks, some of which are not necessarily uh, uh, still, you know, on them. Uh, but yeah, you, you hear one or two little moans uh, as, as turning to you amongst this absolute uh, devastation of thuggery uh, is Batman. Good, you made it. <laughs> Jackie's just looking at the sheer carnage. Like, oh God, I could have died, man. <laughs> so we're here. Ivy. And 
she says, Batman. My friends tell me I can do something for you. What would that be exactly? I've cleared Scarecrow's fear gas out of the system here. Now we need to introduce an antidote. It's a synthetic compound, but I believe this particular formulation would be most effectively broken down by an organic counter compound. I need you to help me synthesize it and introduce it into the air system for the island. And what makes you think I'm gonna do that? And both of them kind of look to uh, look to the three of you as like, well, you're the ones who made this deal. I'm, look, none of us are happy about being here or working with each other, but it's our best shot out of here. Permanently. I made a deal with your friends, Ivy. You help me, you all walk. Believe me, I'm not happy about it. Oh great, you're not happy. Lovely. And I'm just all smiles over here, Batman. Yes, I'm sure you made a very great deal. And everybody's just gonna walk away from this and we'll never encounter each other again. I think Ollie has um, very just shifted just a little bit um, and is like uh, supporting Ivy via like arm bicep, but has sh- uh, just shifted a little bit to put the uh, submachine gun within pretty easy reach on its sling. Sure, sure. Let me be clear here. I'm not asking anymore. And he kind of starts staring her down. What do you do? Oh, God. I I can't go back into one of those cells. I can't do it. Ali, talk to her. She'll listen to you. But no matter what happens here, I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Look, we're here like we said we'd be. But you made a deal with us before and all this stuff. Like, how do, how do we know we can trust you? What's to say you don't just wait until we get off the island and then you call in the hounds, flashing a little spat signal up over GCPD, which, again, is the least fucking subtle thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Once you get off the island, Ollie, our business is done. What you do after that is up to you. I'll react accordingly. But I've agreed. And my word is my word. I think Ollie kind of glances at uh, Ivy. Three day head start. That sounds fair to me. Don't you think so, Batman? Uh, Ollie, give me a sway roll here. (laughs) Uh, You're up against Batman, so (laughs) uh, you're down three to start. Well, I start with one, so. All right. Um, Jackie, 
I think we can make a pretty strong argument that you were helping in what you were arguing as well. So if you want to uh, pay stress, you can kick help over to Ollie. As long as I was talking, I don't need to pay stress for this. You just okay. get the help. Yeah, great. And so can I, I can also push You myself. get that for free. Uh, yeah, and you're welcome to push yourself or take a devil's bargain. So I was starting at disadvantage, and then I'm getting one from Jackie. Or sorry, I was starting at one, then minus three, and then I'm getting one from. I'm trying to make sure I remember how the the dice math works. You're you're de- so you're down to so you can't go below one, right? So yep. you're you're down to uh, you're down to disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Um, you are up one for Jackie's help. That brings you back to one, and then if you uh, if you I will push. push, you can get up to two. Okay, I will push. So I'm rolling two dice. Don't disappoint me, little shit. Yes? I'm always threatening my dice from now on. That's double sixes. Oh, oh I, shit. I need to take a picture of this because holy shit. Oh, now is the time. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Moral so, of the story: threaten, threaten him objects. It totally works. Apparently, Science, baby. So, Ollie, this this uh, this negotiation tactic is successful. What additional for your critical success effect do you want? Well, I'd like for my heart rate to go down. Um, <laughs> uh. I want Batman to feel bad. Okay. I mean, look at us. We're pathetic. (laughs) Like, I want Batman to like think, take, I want Batman to have a moment and think about what he's doing to the P and who he's doing it to. And uh, just want him to feel bad. Okay. Uh, So he says, Fine. Three days before I do anything, you have immunity. After that, we're done. Anything you do subsequently, I will come after you. And, and uh, he he sort of takes a he sort of takes a pause. I don't want to have to do that. It's not. You don't. You don't deserve it. Jackie doesn't know what to do with that one. She's just, uh. Okay. Three days. Ollie just uh, looks, kind of glances over at Poison Ivy again and just kind of gives like a little... (sighs) Fine. We've got a deal. Only because I like Ollie so much. So swap out those glasses, you coward. God damn it. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. So, Mr. Bat, what is it you need from me? All right, I have some preliminary ideas on the chemistry for this, but I'm going to need your assistance, and we're going to need to figure out where to find the supplies. I think we may be able to synthesize something from just the what we can find in the physical plant and hopefully whatever you can gather from the natural world outside uh he turns to the to the group of you ivy and i will have to stay here for a bit try to figure this out once we synthesize the antidote we'll introduce it into the hvac system pump it throughout the island and then You'll all be free to go. 
So what do you need us to do in the meantime? I'm almost afraid to ask. There's one more obstacle to you getting off the island. And one more obstacle to my night concluding peacefully. And that's Jonathan Crane. He'll be holed up in the security office in the main administration building. That's the central hub for all the systems on the island. If he's not there, there's no other way he could be controlling everything that he has control over, including the island's main gates. If you can get in there and take him out, you have a clear path out, and this crisis is resolved. You showed me some trust. And I'm doing the same. I'm trusting you to take care of this (sighs) non-lethally. You may dislike Crane. I assure you I have no love for him. But he doesn't deserve to die for this. We'll agree to disagree on that. Disagree all you want, Jackie. The fact remains, anyone else dies here, our entire deal is off. She looks over at Harvey. Um, Harvey looks... I would say pensive. He's, He's considering this. Um, he, he looks back to you and he says, he looks, uh, I think, down at the coin briefly that he's still kind of fidgeting with. And then he looks back to you, Jackie, and says, it's a good deal, Jack. No murder. You have our word. We'll do this your way. For once. Good. And with that, Poison Ivy kind of uh, uh, extracts herself from Ollie and Harley uh, and does her, her best effort to sashay over towards... Batman. (sighs) All right, Bat Boy. Let's get to work. And the two of them kind of go over to a, um, uh, a, uh, there's like a console um, with sort of a flat table area. um, And uh, Batman very sort of uh, brusquely but gentlemanly uh, gestures to the seat uh, by the console. Poison Ivy sits and they begin to discuss uh, synthesizing this antidote to the fear gas. Which leaves, again, uh, the five of you. Uh, Jackie, Manny, Ollie... Harley and Harvey to strike the final blow, end this madness, and escape from Arkham, which is where we're going to end it tonight. No, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. All right, what folks. Is awesome. Oh God. Thank you all for joining us here on Manapot Studios for Streets of Gotham this evening. Uh, Streets of Gotham runs on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, We uh, have new episodes every other Monday in between. Um, We will, when we can, try to run some reruns uh, with live chat. Our next uh, our next game uh, is going to be in two weeks. We're looking at Monday, the 
24th. Monday the 24th is our next installment uh, as we barrel towards uh, the end of this arc. We are getting there slowly but surely. Um, you can also catch up on previous episodes on youtube.com slash Manapot Studios. Uh, look us up there. Even if uh, you don't want to, uh, you know, even if you don't need to catch up, pop over, give us a couple of likes, uh, subscribe, you know, it, it'll help us out over there. We are up to episode seven, uh, I believe, uh, uploaded. Um, and this one, uh, we, we try to upload them on Fridays. So uh, the last one, this one, that'll all be up. So you can catch up on all of those. We also have a bunch of other uh, games from Manapot Studios. Um, we have uh, a bunch of flights from our Flights of Fandom series, including the original Escape from Arkham series that inspired this whole thing. So go check all those out. We got a ton of great stuff for you. Once again, I have been David. You can check out my tabletop RPGs over at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, which is the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing this very evening. And I am also on Instagram and Twitter at dbrunel Brutman. With that, I will release it to our players for their final plugs, shoutouts, etc. Let's start with Hopper. Oh, that's uh, me. Uh, still me, still Hopper. Unfortunately, it is a uh, it might not be a terminal condition, but it, it sure is incurable. You're all stuck with me. Um, uh, I guess uh, I'm going to shout out David, who um, just did a whole bunch of R uh, RP between two NPCs, <laughs> which is incredibly hard. And not only did you code switch body language, but we're also switching accents and did it real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, thank you. That's <laughs> so fucking hard. Um, I'm just sitting here watching the show, loving every minute yeah, of I it. Yeah, I literally watched like three hours of just that. It was great. <laughs> I know. And I would be endlessly entertained. It's if, like watching if, Tatiana Maslany on Orphan Black. Like, I'll just do it. It's fine. Uh, if y'all if y'all could have had the, the internal monologue where I got to that point and I was like, oh, shit, there's no way to do this without them talking to each other. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did um, legitimately amazing. Um... Uh, other than that, uh, if you're not absolutely sick of me and Marcy, um, tomorrow night, right here, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, we are doing our second episode of our um, our October uh, Flights of Fandom, where Flights of Fandom becomes Frights of Fandom. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And um, and <laughs> um. Uh, we are we are doing our second episode of Gravedale High, um, which is sure to be a absolute ba blast. Um, and then I will slave. I'm going to just self plug one more thing and then uh, then I'll pass the torch. But uh, also, you should check me out at the Legend Tree. Um, I'm gonna, I'll slap a link in the chat. Um, but uh, I that's where I occasionally do other things and I'm trying to get more things going, maybe some pickup. TTRPG bullshit. Uh, but as of right now, we fuck around with Gloomhaven and we are running a uh, a promoted home game to a D&D &D, uh, of D&D &D 5e, uh, promoting it to a stream because it's a lot of fun to play. And I wanted to learn how to produce a stream. And also, again, shout out to David because he's also producing this while doing all of that. And producing know, right? shit is so yeah. hard. Truly. It's so hard. Um, it's challenging. But, uh, it's fucking hard. It's really hard. C'est difficile. Anyways, that's it for me. All right, cool. Uh, Pooja. That's me. Hello, everybody. I am Pooja. You can find me on Twitter at Pooja, at Pajabaraki, everywhere else. Uh, at least for the beginning of October, you can find me here every other Monday. Uh, you can find me over on Nat One Fun every other Wednesday. Uh, this the, It's easy to remember because our on weeks are the same. Um, and that's a D&D &D 5e campaign set in the Feywild with lots of shenanigans, lots of fun, and very short, easy-to-digest sessions. Um, 
And, you know, sometimes it's just really nice to have, like, low stakes drama. Yeah, it's good shit. Uh, because right after that, on Saturday, I have the opposite of low stakes drama in, um, in a D&D 5e horror campaign, pulling on all sorts of themes of monstrosity and queerness and power, and it's wonderful. It's an all queer table uh, and a homebrew world. And it's just, it's beautiful. And uh, so that's on Total Party Kiss. And then there will be another announcement for a short run of a show, uh, also on the Total Party Kiss Network. So just stay tuned to my Twitter, which is where you'll find links to all the stuff anyway. Cool stuff. Marcy. Hey guys, uh, I have and shall continue to remain as Marcy, aka Experimental Madness. Um, most of my shout outs have been covered, so I'll keep this nice and short and sweet. Um, I'm a writer and an editor by day, and then by night I do this with amazing people. And seconded, David, that was amazing. <laughs> Some Thank you. really awesome voiceover work there. Um, yeah, uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow night with Flights of Fandom, 8 p.m. Stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, completely complete tone shift. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll after this high drama, come over. We're going to do some comedy. It'll be great. Um, and uh, hey, if you're still after all of that, not completely sick of myself or Hopper, we are right here still on Manapod Studios every other Sunday at 4.30 p.m. with the award winning cast of The Hole in the World, an Invisible Sun stream. I ha- I've got to do it. Got to. Uh, if I don't say it, somebody will take me out back and, uh, you know, beat me up. So I'm obligated. Yeah. And if you're ever interested in playing some games with us or finding out what else we've got going on on the channel or on YouTube, join our Discord, uh, check out our calendar. We've got a lot of stuff going on. We're always looking for more people to play games with. Awesome. Well, thanks to all of you in the cast. Thanks to all of you uh, out there watching, everybody in chat uh, participating. Great to, to see all of you following along. Uh, we, we love all you dearly. Uh, with that, we are going to call it a night and we will see you next time here on Manapot Studios with Streets of Gotham. Have a good one.